In this video, we're going to talk about how to make your in-person event that you run. This video is brought to you by Abi Pies Academy. Be a tremendous source of content for you and how to use that content for extra promotion for your events. And it's all going to be through repurposing the content of the event that's already happening. So if you record your event, you can post that video on YouTube and if it's evergreen type of content, for example, if your event is about how to cook something, like how to cook, how to make a hamburger, I don't know, it's some cooking or how to start a business or how to do Facebook marketing or any kind of topic like that, well, that's an evergreen kind of an video that is going to be popular for a while on YouTube and you can promote it on YouTube with YouTube SEO and YouTube recommendation algorithms to get more exposure for your event. But that's only scratching the surface because your video can also go live as you're doing the event. So you can do Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Instagram Live, and then you can actually post the Instagram as a post. So all of these strategies help you promote during the event and after the event without actually doing extra work because the video will come right from the event itself. And you can use hashtags during the events to get even more exposure, not to mention that you can also run ads during the event to the, the live video in different platforms like in YouTube, and you can get really cool engaged traffic and maybe with using the hashtags and with using the ads, you might be able to get your event to trend and get a tremendous amount of secondary exposure. Now, you can guarantee that it's gonna trend, but it's widely known that people engage with live content as it is happening in a much stronger way than pre-recorded content, especially since you can interact with people who are commenting especially if you have somebody helping you run the event, then that person can comment and chat back with people who are commenting while you're doing the event presentation. Now, things don't end there because after the event, you can have a freelancer transcribe your video and take the text from that transcription and turn it into a blog post that then you can post on your blog and it can have a chance to rank in Google. And you can even take it one step further and take the audio from that, ev that event video and turn the audio into a podcast. Now, it's not gonna be a fit for all kinds of podcasts. It's a little bit of a reach, but you can see here just how versatile the idea of recording your events is because then you can repurpose that content on so many platforms in so many ways and you can slice and dice and be very creative with how you use it. So these are really good strategies to use at your events to get almost an unlimited amount of extra content.